coffee and cake and good morning guys seriously good morning it's late morning anyway um ooh, and 800 and i should have a two there for the last couple days i've been thinking about the the walkthrough video and i've kind of started i've imported some files and i've gone through some files to see which ones i want to use and whatnot but i didn't have a way to start it it's kind of like a uh when you go to write a story or something and you get like writer's block, you don't know how to start. Same thing. This is my canvas and I need to paint it, but I don't know how to start. And so I just had it. It just clicked in my head how it's going to start and it's going to be freaking awesome. I'm excited about it and hopefully I'll get majority of it done today because I've only got a week left to get this thing done. So, okay. Coffee time. Coffee. What are you doing? Um, Why did you steal my baby? Hold on, hold on. I love this part. We can make somebody piss themselves. I'm excited. We did our job. All right. So right now I'm just going through and I'm getting like uh, trying to figure out what kind of clips I've got. Uh, yeah. Well. But I've got the whole first part of the intro done up until the uh, the actual Hellmouth intro. I'm doing it a little bit different this year. I'm not putting the intro the Hellmouth intro the first thing. That's cool. Yeah. I, I, I saw it and I love it. Think heartbeats. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I got all, like, tingly stuff. Uh, Gabby, she managed to scare the baby really, really well in the haunted house. Because I, I remember when I was at the end, I was talking to your mom, and we were talking about some of the, one of the scares or something in there, and Gabby screamed, and the baby stood straight up in my belly. Oh, <laughs> that's what I say. He wasn't born yet. <laughs> oh, no, he stood straight up. And I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> I don't want to be in a room to your mom. I was like, I gotta take a <laughs> So you saw the first part of it, and you, what do you think? I like it a lot. Especially what? my photography. Expe especially what? My photography. Uh-huh. If she hadn't taken the pictures, then there wouldn't be an intro like this. What I've done is I've mm -hmm. taken every single actor, um, not the actual person, because we had, like, uh, there was one day we had Switched two out. Charlottes. Yeah. But I used the main Charlotte's picture. But anyway, I've taken all the pictures of the actors and within 18 seconds I've got a small title intro and every single actor on the screen in 18 seconds so it goes quick but it's also really cool and I've got what three pictures of the haunt in the back being built so it's, it's I'm really excited about it it's, it's gonna be so cool is it gonna be cool you can just chill all day he slept okay. long hours last night he slept at least six hours, the first sleeping. You can make a, a haunt movie out of that. The sleeping? It's the sleepings. The sleepings, <laughs> yes. The sleepings of the barber. I was coming in to see if you wanted to take that out for a show around the block. Oh, the stroller? What? Yeah. Hand getting tired, must rest, film. Ugh. Go for a walk? Outside? Go for a walk? Go for a walk? <laughs> walk? Uh, okay. It's the dogs! Are you going jogging? <laughs> when you start jogging, can I video you? Sure. Cool. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, I'm gonna try to get myself into a bikini this summer. A what? A bikini. Oh, what's one of them? Bing. Oh, well, I've never worn a bikini before, so I wouldn't know. Oh, please. Well, what have, do you mean, oh, please? You have tons of butt floss in your closet. <laughs> Anybody want to see a picture of Troy with his butt floss? Uh, no, we want viewers. We don't want to. That's scary <laughs> in a bad way. It's a popcorn dog! <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the house and we're gonna... Oh, yeah, and just from yesterday, see that seat right there? No. Just that seat right there, somebody took and threw it back in the yard. I had everything put up on the fence when I left. It just makes me think that whoever did it saw the seat and came back and threw it. I'm taking a trip around the house. This is not our piano. This is a piano that somebody came and busted apart. Actually, can you hold her for a sec? Ugh, do I have to? No, you don't have to. I just don't want her getting her paws cut or anything. Holy crap. 
There's a trailer back here that people might have been living in and there's like movies all over the ground. Enter Matrix and different movies, DVDs, Xbox games. Window in the house is busted out. I'm trying to see any of this like flower stuff if it's like part of the haunt or something like that. Or any of our bins or anything. This would be a house kind of like uh, Zach would come and help clean up. bunch of crap all over the place crap inside the house nothing hi dog aside from what I found yesterday on my walk I also found this house this is so cool you look back there you see the archway and then look at this real um, I, I can't even think of it right now rod iron, rod iron thank you that you thought of the rod <laughs> <laughs> But the house is like freaking beautiful. It's just it's spooky, especially this time of the year with the, the fog out. Oh, you would love this house to put on Halloween. Oh my gosh, the perfect <laughs> graveyard scene right here. How cool would that be? Oh, it's missing a finial. Doggy cam, come on. Oh, give me some of that bacon. Oh, give me some of that bacon. Bacon strips, bacon strips. Sorry guys, had to. Ooh, Troy's hat cam, you guys ready? There, that's what Troy's hat sees. Oh my God, they live in a box. That's horrible, why is Ooh. there no windows? I don't know, that's just freaky. What the hell is they doing there? They have a prison up there? <laughs> They're, they're dominatrixes. Yeah, they, they use kind of <laughs> S&M stuff. Here, we're going to go around filming everybody's house. Ha, so watch out, we're coming to your town. Get it, popcorn, get it. Look how his butt goes when she walks. Look his butt. Well, she's a girl, she knows how to work it. Work. work it, girl, work it. One of the pleasures, guys, that I have is to go over some of the old footage. And what I did for day one, day two, and day three is I just saved all the raw footage from the vlogs because I didn't know exactly what I had didn't know what I was going to use or need for a walkthrough video. This, unfortunately, is the only place that this has been recorded. It was one of the scares in the drop panel hallway. Keith had taken over for the actor that was doing the drop panel, Elisa, and the camera, unbeknownst it to me, had already shut off, stopped recording the drop panel scares. So here you go. This is probably the only place you're going to see this. He ran in place. That was an excellent freaking scare. And this is the only place that we have it. I mean, at least I have it here, but oh my gosh. One more time, guys. Oh, that's just so great. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can incorporate that somewhere or not, but oh, that was just freaking awesome. Done for tonight because I have to remember that I have to work tomorrow, so I have to cut COC and edit the regular vlog. But you guys have got to take a look at this part and I'm like really, really excited about this right now. This is from the doll room. And that is where the video is ending up for tonight. What? Don't point that thing at me. Well, don't interrupt me when I'm talking to myself. <laughs>
<laughs> First off, guys, I would like to thank everybody for their tips on how to wash a tent. Very much appreciated. And then also the additional cell phone tips. And second of all, yes, I'm wearing Lori Lee's bathroom. You had a question. <laughs> I wanted to know what everybody's favorite candy is. It's a silly question, but I want to know. These are mine. No, they're not. I don't like any other candy in the world. Liar. You guys know that she's lying. I do. I like some of them. But I really... Trolley gummy mummies. Yeah, trolley gummy mummies. Uh -huh. These runts are the ball. So what's everybody's favorite candy? That's what I want to know. His favorite candy is booby flavored. It's time for COC going to try. I'm, I'm not even going to say I want to try and get through this quick. SM Hauling. Glad to hear you got some of your stolen items back. Great news. I looked up that website, HalloweenMonsterList.info. What a great site. I think I want to turn my backyard into a haunted house this year, if my landlord will let me. And thanks for the information on the Freddy Glove. That is so cool. Hopefully we inspire everybody to haunt because it's just so cool and it's fun. Absolutely. I love to scare the shit out of people. <laughs> Mr. Trav272, sorry Troy, but Phoenix is the only one not insane yet. I don't know, you haven't been here through his screaming fits. <laughs> Ramvital, set the tent off to the side for now till the weather warms up, bro, then get a big tub and fill it with soapy water and wash the tent. That way you can then hang it up on the fence and rinse it with a house to complete the wash. A house? A house, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weirdness1, definitely a new commenter. Found at an abandoned house? That sounds like a possible homeless person was squatting there and used the tent for a while. Oh, yeah. Well, with with what you guys saw, there's definitely been activity at the house, but I doubt that somebody would have just pitched it over the front of the fence that would have been in the back or something like that in the house. So I, I, I suspect foul play from somebody in the neighborhood. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Hope the thieves burn in Halloween Hellmouth. Yeah, me too. Too bad you didn't find the baby's things. The tent wasn't damaged. No, the tent was not damaged. And, I mean, quite honestly, ah, this sounds bad, but I'm kind of glad we didn't find the baby things because they would have been nasty and everything, and then I would have been thinking about, what do we do with this? Do we clean it up and try to use it or, yeah. you know, whatnot? So we're just going to get new. Yard of Terror, Kentucky. I have to agree with you. Small items and haunts are very important to us haunters. Absolutely, I'm glad that you agree. And Lori Lee definitely found the importance of that. She went on like the major buying sprees last year and like got all the small stuff. It was so awesome. Yeah, I love those uh, the tables at the. Um, the oh, St. Vincent de Paul? Yeah. The tables, they had all those tables out there and they said fill up a whole paper bag for five bucks. I got lots of decorations. Awoke a Nightmare. I'm really glad that you found some of your stolen items. What do you think you would have done if they were still in the tent when you found them? That's an easy one. The Kick their ass. Them. One page of cock down. Borgex279. I really can't wait for the scare video so bad. I want to see the video. Me too. I want to see it. Yeah, get it done. Jeez. I know. Oh, by the way, baby, thank you for taking care of our son so that I could, like, edit today. I'm on minute, like, four. I won't tell you how long it took me to get past, like, the first 20 seconds. I was crazy. 303430, also a new commenter. Welcome to the Hellmouth. I thought I saw that commenter before. Really? I think he's new. Anyway, or she, or it, I don't know. Um, anyone ever tell you that you act like Bob and Doug McKenzie in the morning? <laughs> and he goes on to say, in case you guys don't know who Bob and Doug McKenzie are, have someone watch the movie Strange Brew with you and have them compare the beginning of this video. Too funny. I don't know what that is. Bob and Doug McKenzie... Most of you will know them from uh, a beer in a tree for the five days of or the twelve days of Christmas. Spees, eighteen eighty nine. Here's my theory about the tent. I think that the person broke into your storage unit, saw how much stuff you had, and thought, "Crap, I didn't bring anything to carry it in." That's why I think they took the tent. And they probably stashed the stuff at the abandoned house, and then came back for it and only took the expensive stuff. Not a bad theory. However, they also took all of our luggage too. They probably took the luggage and filled it up with stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Because yeah, they saw, hey, it's empty. Let's fill it up with stuff. Whoever took it, we'll find out. And if we don't, karma will get your ass. Oh, yeah. I have my ideas. And I have mine. There, There's just too many things adding up right now, guys. Red Grin, I think you should make an effigy of the suspect and put him in your next haunt with horrific and hellish things happening to it. A sort of message saying, 
You don't mess with a Hellmouth. It always gets its revenge. <laughs> um, and you have a second part of the comment. I'll get to that in a second. I would, but I also don't want to glamorize the person that did this either. So, revenge will get him somehow. Wow. Also, I'm thinking about attending Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, Florida this year. Have you two ever been to Halloween Horror Nights? No, we have not. But it would be maybe nice when he gets older, maybe start branching out to other conventions as budget dictates. I went to Disney World once when I was a baby in Florida. And from the Ghostbusters line? I'd call that a big yes. Yeah, but I didn't go to Halloween Horror Nights, though. I went no. to Don's Mansion. My uncle thought he was St. Jerome. Sorry. And are you, Alice, menstruating right now? Wow. What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Tiamela, I doubt that it was anyone you know. It looks like they were living in the tent. They were probably looking to sell your stuff for drugs. Yeah, problem. Nah, that too. Um, my novel is a hobby that I hope to publish. That's cool, so good luck with that. Extreme Aaron, here's another... Vote for Verizon and Droid Razor Max. I have had it since launch and love it. And the reason why I chose to read your comment tonight is because Lori Lee has a problem with her battery, but you commented, the battery lasts forever. Well, good, because mine, I, I took it off the, um, the power cord, cord earlier, and I was just sitting here on the couch just looking at my phone, looking at Facebook, and playing one little app that I have on there. It died under three hours. In under three hours, and it just had two apps open. Chris25 Tefer, glad to hear you found some of your haunt stuff. By the way, happy belated 800 vlogs. I hope everything else is good, my friends. Thank you very much, and thanks to know or thanks for commenting so that we know that you're still around. Awesome. And the last comment of the night Halloween Daily. That stuff was dumped there for a reason. Buy the house and turn it into your pro haunt. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, that, that place actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I got cooties just from standing in the driveway. Anyway, say happy haunting. Let's get out of here so Troy and Eddie can go to bed. Say happy haunting so Troy can get out of here and Eddie and Eddie can go to bed. <laughs> happy haunting, guys. See you tomorrow. I don't think this is the Hellmouth anymore, Toto.